Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another insane game analysis of the engines, of the super engines and this time we have old good Stockfish who's gonna play against Lila Chess Zero. Um, and the game was played during, not during the, the tournament or the league or anything, not no TSEC, no CCC uh, tournament, but rather Alpha Zero simulation match. Um, so we had a couple of hundred games played, so there is um, a lot, you know, to choose from um, and I would like to show one of them. So uh, Stockfish gonna play as white and Lila Chess Zero gonna play as black. Um, and of course, as always, we have some pre-moves. This time that gonna be Vinaver variation in French defense. So knight c3, bishop b4 and now standard e5. Uh, c5, a3, bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3 and now knight e7. So main line so far. Uh, and now white goes for the poison uh, pawn variation queen to g4. Uh, and after queen c7, black of course can castle, which is pretty risky, uh, but it was played plenty of times. Uh, queen c7, and now is the question, take the pawn or don't take the pawn, but if you don't take the pawn, why would you even go with the queen to g4? So queen g7, and after rook g8, queen h7, c takes on d4, and here we have the end of the book and Stockfish is gonna be on its own. Uh, Stockfish played knight e2 and this is the main move still the main move in the in the line uh, and now lila chess zero actually deviates so a uh, knight b to c6 is the is the main uh, idea the main line and it was played you know hundreds of times by human on the top level uh, i would like to just show you the main ideas here f4 uh, and after bishop d7 uh, queen goes back to d3, otherwise uh, black can of course castle and uh, and have very very strong uh, pawn on, on c3. Uh, which of course is still playable, however queen d3 is the main idea here. And after d takes on c3, queen takes on c3, knight f5. Very nice outpost and for now g4 is not possible because the rook controls g4. So... Um, White of course can continue, uh, however, with rook on b1 uh, and with other variations. The main idea is, is rook b1, knight g3 also attacking this knight, this is also possible. Uh, rook g1 preparing uh, g4, uh, these are the main ideas for white here. Uh, however, uh, we didn't have knight c6 by lila chess 0. Lila goes for d takes on c3. Uh, and now h4 and this of course was also uh, played by human players so uh, this this var variation is also known we have knight b to c6 we have f4 now um, and bishop d7 preparing to castle and now queen d3 asking lila okay uh, are you gonna castle and lila said yes i'm gonna castle so we have castle on the queen side and now asking stockfish you're gonna attack me or you're gonna push the h pawn um and uh, Stockfish said, okay, I'm going for the for the attack with the H pawn. We have knight f5, now getting the, the knight to the very nice uh, outpost. Of course, this move is still not possible because of the rook controlling the, the G file. Uh, we have rook b1, bringing the rook to the, to the semi-open B file. Uh, and now d4, defending the pawn on C3 and also the knights can protect the, the pawn on d4. So it looks like very, very solid position. We have rook g1 now preparing g4 uh, and black cannot do much about that the main line played by the by the human players uh, is f6 um, and then after g4 there is idea to sacrifice actually um, the knight. So f takes on e5 and after g takes on f5, one of the, the ideas is to exchange here uh, and continue, but one is e takes on f5 and after rook g8, rook g8 um, and rook f5 
push the pawn to e4. Uh, and this was also played a couple of times. White stands slightly better here. However, look at the position of the king in the center and these pawns. It looks pretty scary. Uh, so white have to be very, very careful. Um, they have good continuations here uh, and can keep the advantage. However, black also has a lot of counterplay here. Uh, however, uh, Lila Chess Zero has different idea here. Bishop e8, disconnecting the rooks. However, the queen can come to e7 and then jump to h4. And together with this pawn, um, you know, protecting, controlling d2, it, it looks pretty scary here. Um, so g4 was played by Stockfish and now we have queen e7 as planned. And it's possible actually to take the knight, but it's not really recommended because after taking, we have rook g1 and now uh, the queen can jump to h4. So now white has a choice. Uh, take the rook and uh, let black to play the, the, the queen to h4, which can be very, very unpleasant or play f6 but then black gonna uh, get back the material and the game can continue and this queen can actually you know come this way uh, and the game can continue it's pretty unclear it's possible to to be played however it was never played uh, the normal move for human and uh, and for stockfish as well uh, is g5 so this was played and now lila chess zero plays a6 preparing b5 in the future and now the main plan for white is to eliminate this outpost how to do that there are actually two ways it can be done with the with the knight or with the bishop uh, with the bishop is a very interesting option because after let's say queen c5 um, bishop f5 e takes on f5 queen f5 and bishop d7 it's very tempting to actually take this pawn and look at this this look devastating so white gonna win however uh, black has incredible move knight e5 very nice resource and after f takes on e5 rook g to f8 attacking the queen and what to do with the queen the problem is uh, if you try to save the queen uh, like let's say queen b3 with the tempo attack on b7 black can simply move the bishop to very nice diagonal uh, and after let's say queen e6 defending the pawn again with the tempo uh, king b8 uh, rook f1 exchanging the rooks uh, and then there is the move d3 uh, d2 is coming what to play now uh, c takes on d3 and now after rook d3 there is a checkmate in one look at this this guy is slicing all the all these diagonals so uh, there is a checkmate so uh, white actually has to give back the material and play bishop e3 but then queen e3 uh, queen c6 this is this is insane queen c6 uh, winning another material but now we have rook d1 very nice deflection and after rook d1 b takes on c6 and look at the position it's insane it's insane White, of course, can try to pick up the pawn on, on c3 and, and then create some kind of fortress. Uh, but it's not easy, actually, to coordinate the pieces, you know, uh, get everything protected and the queen uh, can be pretty devastating here. So white have to be very, very precise here. Uh, so the best move in this position, in this crazy position, is not moving the queen back, but rather play e6. And after rook takes on f7, uh, e takes on f7, the game can continue. Uh, and this is completely madness. Uh, what's gonna happen here? These three pawns, uh, but white doesn't have the queen anymore. But it looks, you know, pretty promising for, for white as well. So also a very, very complicated variation. However, stockfish uh, says okay I'm not crazy as that so uh, just king f2 I'm gonna bring the knight to, to g3 and everything gonna be fine uh, I'm gonna get the better position we have queen c5 bringing the queen to the center defending the, the d4 also in some variation queen can, can come to d5 I will show you one of them h6 by stockfish and now b5 as planned knight on g3 so now uh, asking to exchange the, the knights and of course uh, lila chess 0 accept that so knight g3 uh, king g3 
and now a king c7. King c7 actually anticipating the move bishop h3 uh, because then uh, white plan of course you know uh, pushing this pawn is a very standard plan in the French defense. Uh, and then the, if, the, if the king is still on this diagonal that would be very very dangerous. Bishop h3 anyway, so uh, supporting the f-pawn of course, and now bishop d7 playing against that. Uh, and now rook e1 bringing extra support uh, to e5. Uh, is it important? It is, because now the pawn, uh, you know, when the, this pawn is pushed, it's gonna have a little support. However, it's very interesting moment of the game. Uh, what black could play here is something like, let's say, knight e7. It's pretty tricky. It looks like, okay, this pawn is not supported anymore. However, this knight, um, you know, can jump to very nice squares here. So after, let's say, rook b4, uh, attacking the pawn, there is the bishop c6 move. Uh, and after rook d1, it looks like black gonna have very hopeless position. However, queen d5 is a very strong here. And now you would ask, okay, but rook d4, this is pretty good for me, okay? I'm winning the pawn. The point is knight f5, uh, very nice fork, very nice fork. And now if the bishop, bishop is defending g2, so if the bishop takes it, um, then actually queen g2 first and after king h4, this position is slightly better for black. Uh, the king is safe for now. However, you know, after uh, the pawn takes on, on f5, the, there are the mating ideas here on, on g4. And we can easily imagine there are, you know, more ideas coming in the attack. The bishop can come to, to f3. So white probably would have to exchange the, the queens first or try to exchange and the game could continue and can be pretty crazy. Uh, Black has really great chances actually to win that game. So knight e7 was very, very interesting and very, very complicated. Uh, however, we have bishop c8. So the idea of lila chess zero is slightly slower. Maybe bring the bishop to the main diagonal that's the, still on the table, uh, but still want to keep the an eye on, on f5 square. Uh, we have a4 now attacking on the on the queen side, b4 avoiding that, and now uh, after locking the queen side, uh, finally Stockfish plays f5, f5, and don't care about the pawn on e5. And here is the critical moment of the game. Very funny because Lila Chess Zero says in the ev evaluation. It's all equal. It's all equal. Uh, I can take this, this pawn and everything will be fine. And Stockfish says, uh, I'm not really sure it's a good idea. Now, what Stockfish says is uh, take e takes on f5 and after bishop f5, knight e5. And this is fine. Uh, queen is under attack. The, the queen can retreat here. Still keep an eye on the bishop. The game can continue. And yes, this is completely equal. So this I would agree. Also a5. Remember this move. a5 is a pretty good move. It's it's slow, but it's solidifying the, the position of the pawns on the, on the queen side. And black doesn't need to worry about any counterplay on the queen side, which looks pretty insane now but you will see the end game what just happened in the end game uh, for example h7 rook h8 and uh, after f takes on e6 let's say queen d5 keeping an eye on these two squares also the game can continue uh, it's it's also quite equal and that was possible to play however lila chess zero say knight e5 immediately i don't need to wait i'm attacking your queen and you cannot do much about that but stockfish say hey wait 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 it's plus three in my evaluation so something is going wrong i'm not sure if i evaluated not correctly or something is wrong with your evaluation but we've seen already many times that you know lila chess zero and stockfish don't agree, you know, in the evaluations. Uh, we have bishop f4 pinning the knight and asking what you're gonna do now. Your knight is attacked twice. You have to do something. Lila chess zero answer with f6. Uh, and now the pawn cannot be taken because of the pin. So king h2. Uh, now there is no pin. This is very serious threat. Winning the, the peace threat. 
So king b6 and pinning the, the knight and now queen g3 attacking the, the knight even three times. Uh, we have e takes on f5 and now h7 first and after rook g7 finally taking on e5. So bishop e5, f takes on e5 and now rook e5 attacking the queen uh, and asking what you gonna do with the queen. Uh, Lila chess zero could try something tricky like f4, but it doesn't work. However, look at this f4, queen f4, and now queen c7 trying to exchange the queens this way. The problem is after bishop c8, this is pretty nice, rook c8. You remember the move I told you a5 would be good. Now is time queen d4 with check, king b7, and now rook b4 joining the attack. And this is just devastating. King a8, now rook b6 attacking this pawn. And uh, not much can be done here. Rook h7, now king g2, and, uh, and yeah, that's all. Queen c4, maybe defending the, the pawn, but it's just, you know, uh, it's just hopeless. Now just rook a6, king b7, and white gonna have two extra pawns, so that should be uh, winning for, for white. So that's not possible. Uh, more tricky would be actually rook h7 with check. Uh, and now after bishop h3, the idea is to bring another rook and win the bishop. Uh, the point is if the queen tries to actually defend, uh, the rook of course cannot defend because the, the pawn controlling e3. But if the queen tries to defend, uh, then of course black gonna take the bishop, take the queen uh, and at the end take the, this rook. So... Uh, queen against the rook. The problem is it doesn't work because again b4 pawn. So rook on b4 and after king e7 queen d4 remaneuvering the queen to defend the bishop while checking the, the king. That, that is the idea here. So king a8 and after queen e4 uh, king a7 this rook of course control all the squares here. And now queen e3 finally checking and defending the bishop. So the, after after king moves, this rook is free and white gonna win because of extra bishop. So it's not possible to actually answer with f4. This is why Lila chess zero plays queen c4. Uh, we have g6 by Stockfish and now king a7 going to the safety. And Stockfish plays bishop g2, so controlling the most important diagonal of the game. And Lila chess zero answer with bishop b7 saying, okay, I'm also gonna get the control of this diagonal. Bishop b7, king b7, and now rook b to e1. So this rook not threatening taking on b4 anymore. Uh, however, uh, white actually managed to double the rooks on the, on the only open file which is pretty interesting and very dangerous. Queen c7 now uh, saying, okay, I'm gonna exchange your queens now. However, Stockfish says, hola, hola, I'm not gonna allow you to do that. Rook e7, I'm gonna pin your queen, uh, you know, to the king. Uh, we have rook e7 and now very interesting. You see that already? Rook e7, still pinning. Uh, and after queen e7, now g7. So Stockfish saying, okay, now I'm gonna promote. What you gonna do? Uh, and there is not much, actually Lila chess zero can do that, but only d3. So pushing the pawn on its own. And now of course, is the if the pawn is taken, then the queen can take on g7 and everything is fine. If this pawn gonna take, then of course this, this pawn gonna promote. So uh, we have the queen. We have the second queen for Stockfish. Now we have d2. And now queen f3 with check, king c7, and now third queen. So Stockfish has already three queens. Uh, now we have queen d6 by lila chess zero, king h3. And now I would like to show you uh, what would happen if we have the five queens um, on the board. It's pretty insane. And actually I would like you to pause the video. So uh, what will happen if we have the five queens on the board? This was the, th the thumbnail, it didn't happen in the game, but it's very interesting because now white could deliver the checkmate in five moves. So uh, pause the video and find the first checkmate in five moves. While I enjoy, 
my cup of tea. Okay, ready? There are two ways actually uh, to deliver checkmate in five. So one of that is queen c4. The idea is of the weakness of b4. This is why this a5 was, was very, very important. So this is one of the ideas. Queen c4 and now the best move for black prolongs the game the, the longest is actually king b8. And now what white would have to find, this is the very difficult uh, to find, is the only one move winning the game is queen to d8 with check, deflection deflection and then queen can take on b4 so queen d8 and now queen b4 and believe me or not there is only one move here uh, stopping the checkmate the checkmate is coming here uh i hope you see that so the only move now is to prolong the the checkmate this is the 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 last idea and that is a checkmate this is a checkmate. So that's one of the checkmates. And if you found another one, this one is more tricky. Uh, queen h to c3. Uh, and after taking the queen, the idea is uh, black still keep a control on b4. However, now uh, white gonna have access to b3. So here is the idea. Queen c4 like before. And now if the king goes to b8 then instead of going to b4 a uh, white actually can go to b3 and uh, finish the game uh with queen b7 or king d7 i would like to show you this one also uh this is slightly faster but it's also the checkmate queen f5 and now if the king goes here or here wherever then of course we have a checkmate here and if the queen goes to e6, we have this kind of checkmate. And this, of course, is also winning. So it was not possible actually to have the five queens uh, on the board. However, it was very interesting. Now, Lila Chess 0 plays a very sneaky move. Rook takes on g8. Rook takes on g8. And why it's sneaky? For the human, it would be very sneaky. Of course, the, the stockfish uh, calculate much better because if white decide to take the rook the problem is this is just a draw this is just a draw uh queen c4 with check and after king b1 this is not possible to take because you know it's control of course uh, white can take the, the the queen uh and and this is of course still on the table however this is just a draw uh, because black has three pawns and white has only two pawns. So, uh, yeah, that's that would be a draw. But in this position, Stockfish is not interested in the draw and plays queen h7 with check. Uh, now we have king b6 and now queen f2, remaneuvering the queens. And it's so complicated endgame. You, we have already uh, three queens on the board. So white has to, you know, put the queens in the right squares um, to actually continue. We have king a5. So Lila chess 0 wants to just hide from the checks uh, and come this way, uh, which is pretty interesting. But here Stockfish plays queen f to f5. And it sounds pretty funny. I think that the first time uh, in, in my videos that, you know, I comment uh, queen f to f5. Like we have two queens uh, or more. King a4 by Lila chess 0. So Lila chess 0 want to hide. But now queen h8. And now there is a checkmate in one move. Very serious threat. So um, queen h6 by Lila chess 0. King g2 avoiding. And now queen c6. Uh, and here a stockfish says, okay, that's enough of the checks. Queen f to d5. And now exchanging the queens doesn't really help uh, black because uh, white gonna control the, the promotion square on d1. So Lila chess 0 played king a3 and now of course uh, the, the checkmate is not possible because of the pin. However, the queen uh, doesn't have any protection, it's hanging piece, so queen c3. Free queen is always free queen. It's good to have, you know, two queens uh, if your opponent doesn't have any. Uh, and now this doesn't work because of the checkmate. So, of course, not possible. This is why we have king b2 by lila chess 0. And now queen f3 controlling the promotion square. Uh, and now 
King takes on c2 doesn't work because of queen a2 with check and after king c1 queen d3 so that's a checkmate trade and um, promotion doesn't work because there is another checkmate here so this is why we have b3 first however now queen b3 with check king c1 uh, queen f to c3 and now believe me or not but lila chess zero show some sense of humor and promote to the knight promote to the knight uh we have queen a3 by stockfish knight b2 and now queen a1 and this is checkmate so stockfish won that game uh i know you felt for for some in some moment that lila chess zero gonna win that game end game was insane you know four queens on the board almost five queens on the board i hope you found um, the the solution for the five moves uh, you know checkmate and yeah if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you don't want to miss any other games on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one